What's up guys, today I'm going to be going through how to create this shine effect. Here's my raw video clip. And the first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste the video clip. So hold down option and then click and drag up. And on this top video clip, let's trim this down to around about one second long where you want this effect to happen. Now we need to mask out the subject. So over here in the effects tab, I'm going to go down to mask and keying and add the draw mask onto this. And then just click and draw around the outline of the object. And over here in the parameters, click on transform and hit the keyframe buttons on all of these. And then also on control points, hit the keyframe button there. And then go to the end of the video clip and just move these points on the screen so that they are around the outline of the object you want to add this effect to. And if you have a more complicated shot with a more complicated mask, then you probably want to use the MRoto AI effect. So that's easier to mask out. But for this shot, because it's a smooth motion, it's very easy to mask out. There's a few different ways to add the shine effect. For this one, I'm going to go to the blend mode over here on the right hand side and just turn the blend mode to screen or linear dodge. If you want a brighter shine, then linear dodge is nice. Or you can just use screen. And now we need to add another mask. So under the mask and keying in the effects tab, the shape mask effect, drag that onto the video clip. And then make the shape mask kind of skinny like this and at a slight angle. And then over here on the feather, turn the feather right up, or you can just drag it on the screen and move it to one side of the object. And then under the transform, let's hit the keyframe button on position and then move to the end of the video clip and just drag that mask to the other side of the object. And now if I play this back, we have that shine effect. And then you can also go up here, select the video clip, go up here to the color board and change the exposure on this if you want it to be brighter or you could even change the color just like that. So we can also add an effect to this. If I add on this neon outline effect and bring that above the shape mask in the parameters over here and change the settings slightly, we get this kind of outline wipe effect, which also looks pretty cool. If you're trying to add this effect to a more simple shape, like a circle or a square, then it's a lot easier to do this effect. So for example, on this video, if I want to add the effect to the wheel here, then we can go up to the color board and go to the exposure and just turn the exposure up. And then up here, we can click and add a shape mask. Click the tracker button here and just set this tracker around. Let's turn the exposure down for now. Set the tracker around the wheel here and then click analyze in the top left here. So now that's tracked to the wheel. We can click shape again and turn down the feather on this and then turn the exposure up and add another shape mask. So click here, add shape mask down here. The shape mask will show if we click add and change the shape mask to intersect. And it'll give us this second mask here, which we can make nice and skinny rotate a little bit and move to one side of, of the object, then hit the keyframe button over here under shape mask, move forward in the video clip about a second and move this to the other side of the wheel. Now we get this nice shine effect on the wheel and to change it. You just need to change the exposure. And yeah, that is the finished effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.